Hello and welcome to Swiss African Regional Conference in Accra, Ghana. I'm with Jan Pilbana, who's the Chief Payments and Innovation Officer for BankSurf Africa. Yeah, welcome. Now, look, you've been involved in the modernization of South Africa's payment system, and we're very much about delivering change and the how of, of delivery. So, so tell us about what you're doing there. Yeah, so we are just in the midst of it. Bank South Africa, you know, we are the largest clearinghouse in Africa, and especially in South Africa, I think um, we were upfront with payments innovation in the past, but the country has fallen behind a bit. So uh, I'm relatively new to South Africa because I just relocated my family from Canada mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year, and uh, we are making progress. So we want to make sure that we basically grab what South Africa used to be, and we will, we will deliver the payments experience South Africans oh, 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 are used all to. All right, I will, I will give us some of the concrete steps of how. So you know, it's all about instant payments and uh, low value mobile payments, uh, because that's what every country is doing around the globe. So uh, before we start thinking about the regional integration, every country has to solve the domestic needs. So similarly in uh, South Africa, we have a benefit of learning from others. So you know, we explored what happened in Europe, what happened in North America, we looked into Asia, and basically we are delivering uh, faster instant payments with a nice aliasing uh, database so people can send money easily. And uh, today you cannot forget about the non-financial aspects of payments. So uh, we are also integrating things like request to pay and, uh, and stuff like that. Now you mentioned um, the aim is to go regional with it. Um, so, so tell me how you do that. And of course, everybody's got to get up to the same level to be able to do that, is that right? Yes, yeah, so there are multiple things when we talk about regional integration. I think even at this conference, uh, the interoperability within the region is a key topic. So uh, we have operated for almost half a century in South Africa, but one of the big objectives we have is to provide regional solutions. And uh, the time is for interoperability. So uh, you see many, I call them closed loop solutions, popping up and solving for some, solving for some specific needs. Now you need to start integrating those. And it's kind of a similar evolution, you know, which happened 30 years ago in banking, why clearing houses were invented. Banks were serving their customers quite well, but when it came to interoperability, we needed something more. And it's the same today with mobile money, with different countries having different national systems. So we have a similar ambition as SWIFT is trying yeah. to interconnect everybody globally. We are trying to do it in the African region and basically connecting economies, connecting different clearing houses and making it all work. All right, how long do you think it's gonna take? So we don't have, uh, we don't have time, to be absolutely honest. You know, even though the conference here doesn't talk about blockchain and kind of the revolution in the, in the banking industry anymore, I believe it's gonna change. With the recent announcement from Facebook and the project Libra, yeah, I think that's, yeah. that's something which has a potential to actually change the banking world as we know it. Like Uber, they changed. Uh, would you see it as, as a, co a competitor to the banks? Or? I think this can actually change the banking regulatory framework and everything. Uber, they changed labor law around the world with their new business model. And you know, I have done a lot of research into blockchain. The challenge was blockchain wasn't very easy to use. So I was always thinking if there is somebody who can come with, you know, the proper uh, user uh, community and uh, with an experience to deliver it can actually be a game changer. All right, so how do you think the banks should respond to it? Well, what we need, we need to provide the experience people are used to. And you know, that's kind of the old cliche that uh, we always expect uh, our banks to deliver the best experience we have experienced elsewhere. So uh, our banks, they have to become real time. We have to make sure that uh, payments is something as easy as uh, sending a letter because we now flood people with a lot of technical discussions and questions when you want to send a payment. When you go to a post office, they just ask, you know, do you want to send this letter in an expedited way? Do you want to know when it arrives? They ask you what you want to achieve. Banking and payments is quite not like that today. But so we need to change it. Okay, but one of the reasons for that, of course, is the huge compliance that you have to do as banks. You know, so how do you solve that? I mean, you, 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 you're subject to these rules whether you like it or not. I think yesterday there was a big discussion what's preventing banks from uh, moving forward and delivering the experience uh, our customers are expecting. And uh, actually regulatory didn't score as high. Yes, we need to be regulated because we are a banking community and whoever entrusts us with their money, they have to ensure that it's safe. But actually, uh, you know, things like legacy infrastructure and stuff like that, it's scored much higher than the regulatory environment. And you see around the world that the regulators understand that they need to give a bit of a 
level playing field for the banks to continue innovating and you see you know regulatory sandboxes and things like that popping up and the reg tech uh, movement you know we were all about financial technology payments technology Re regulatory technology is something which can help. You design rules inside the system. So it's not kind of an afterthought when you have a compliance exposed, but you basically build systems which are already compliant by default and yeah. by design. Yeah, and thank you very much for sharing your ideas. My Thanks pleasure. a lot. Thank you.